Hello and welcome to another update video about Ada Cardano. Um, yeah, we completed over the last few days here this A wave to the downside. Remember in these videos we talked about the situation that we topped on the 15th of April in a leading diagonal wave one that we are now coming down in a wave two that would be typically an ABC correction. We came down in this A wave, counted five waves down expected some sort of a bounce from this area between the 50% retracement and the 61.8 retracement. We moved up, hit resistance here yesterday at 41.9 cents. That was our B wave resistance and sold off quite strongly after touching it. Um, we have some clarity in the sense that wave four was probably over and wave five was probably in and this completed the A wave because we did overshoot slightly above the wave four resistance and reacted to the B wave resistance here. In this B wave, we um, obviously didn't move up very strongly. So it would have been quite a shallow B wave and we can consider it possibly complete. But to be honest, my preferred interpretation here would be, and that would be pretty much in line with the Bitcoin chart, that we at least have a good chance to get a higher B wave. And in my opinion, if we get a higher B wave, a, an area to watch would be here between 41.9 and 44.4 cents. A B wave can go higher, but this is sort of the first area to watch. Yeah? Resistance afterwards, yeah, if we get above 44.4 cents, which is the 78.6 retracement, key resistance will of course be the um, previous swing high at 46 cents. Um, how would that work? this high B wave. Well, we'd be looking at an ABC structure within the B wave itself because a B wave is a corrective structure. A B wave consists typically of three waves. It could be the B wave unfolds as a triangle, but that's nothing I would primarily focus on at the moment. It would just move sideways then. But if we get a higher B wave, I would expect it to head into this region. We can consider at least a high B wave and we need to be ready for it as long as we hold above yesterday's low, which was here at 38 cents. A break below 38 cents would indicate that we already are in the C wave down. So I, I understand this can be a bit confusing, but eventually these two scenarios that I just showed you, either a higher B wave or the B wave already complete, they are both part of the same higher degree scenario in which I would expect it ultimately to come down a little bit lower in this wave two before bottoming in the yellow support area and then to rally in a third wave. This particular scenario is valid and likely as long as we're holding 33.3 cents and it's an overall bullish scenario in which I would assume that price will rally in a third wave to the upside to 50 cents and more in the coming weeks, but it need or a couple of months or so. Um, even though timing is always very difficult, but it needs to hold the 33.3 cent level. Below that level, probabilities will shift, not necessarily to something bearish, but to a much deeper pullback, possibly all the way down to 27 and a half cents. Really only below 27 and a half cents, I would consider something more bearish. All right, that's my update about ADA. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.